of G77 and China and El Salvador on behalf of SILA. The 1976 Republican Constitution of Trinidad and Tobago protects the human rights and fundamental freedoms of all citizens and residents without discrimination based on race, origin, color, religion, or sex. In this vein, the government of Trinidad and Tobago, headed by Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley, has undertaken numerous initiatives to ensure the realization of gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls, and has made significant strides in this area. In 2017, Trinidad and Tobago enacted legislation to end child marriage, and more recently, the government of Trinidad and Tobago would have laid its national policy on gender and development as a green paper in the parliament after years of deliberation. On March 19th, President-elect Madam Justice Paula May Weeks will be sworn in as the first female president and commander-in-chief of the Defense Force of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. She will join a number of women in positions of leadership and influence, including the President of the Senate, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Leader of the Opposition, and the Presiding Officer of the Tobago House of Assembly. Additionally, women hold senior cabinet portfolios in the government of Trinidad and Tobago. Madam Chair, the government of Trinidad and Tobago accords high priority to the theme for the current session, and we have the view we will be one step closer to achieving all of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals if we genuinely pursue policies that promote equity and gender equality. In this regard, Gender equality and the empowerment of rural women and girls are carefully considered in Trinidad and Tobago's Vision 2030 National Development Strategy 2016-2030. In this context, Trinidad and Tobago has undertaken a number of initiatives to empower women in rural communities through various ministries, state agencies and the Tobago House of Assembly. The Ministry of Rural Development and Local Government, which is responsible for addressing the needs of rural communities in Trinidad, plays a vital role in securing the functional cooperation necessary for rural communities to benefit from infrastructure development, disaster management, public health, and sanitation. In Tobago, these functions are executed by the Tobago House of Assembly on behalf of the people of Tobago. Madam Chair, we recognize a vital link between health and well-being and the economic empowerment of rural women and girls. Through the regional health authorities, free health care is accessible via a network of health centers throughout Trinidad and Tobago. In particular, 24-hour emergency and maternity services are available at all our public hospitals, while rural women also benefit from mobile health services provided by non-governmental organizations such as the Trinidad and Tobago Family Planning Association and the Trinidad and Tobago Cancer Society. In our bid to sustain the economic empowerment of rural women and rural communities, the government of Trinidad and Tobago has provided a number of incentives in the agricultural sector, the creative industries, and the community tourism. Additionally, women desirous of engaging in or expanding their business activities can access financial and technical support through various state programs or initiatives run by the NGO sector of village councils. Madam Chair, Trinidad and Tobago acknowledges that there is still work to be done, but we remain resolute in our commitment to achieving gender equality by 2030. In this regard, I wish to reiterate Trinidad and Tobago's unequivocal commitment to enhance collaboration and cooperation with partners at the local, regional, and international levels to implement our obligations in alignment with our national laws, policies, and priorities. I thank you.